Okay, uh, welcome back. We're going to try going someplace else. I'm just going to use voice nav here, and I'm where do we go? I don't know. Take me to Home Depot. Okay, 2.6 miles, that's the closest one. And the nav, in this case, is actually going to take us straight to the front door, right? Because it's, it's kind of mapped. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it does, right? So... Okay, as usual, this is no, ugh, this is not a autonomous vehicle. This is a, an advanced driver assist system. Uh, I mean, the most advanced in the world by far, right? Uh, so it's not a full self-driving car as far as autonomous vehicle goes. Like right now, I have an occlusion to the left. I'm hovering the brake. It's clear to the right after this next car. I cannot clear fully to the left. And its cameras are in a position that's less advantageous than my eyes are. It's like right now it's clear. I can go. Okay, it's cool. Look at that. Perfect. That was great. Okay, it stopped. No reason. We're still clear. We're still clear. You can go. You can go. Okay, I'm going to tap it. I tap the accelerator just to kind of give it the signal that it's okay to go. Uh, okay, not quite the smoothest uh, drive there, but very good. I mean, the moment I saw it was clear, it went. It just stopped unnecessarily. Uh, so really, like, at the perfect moment uh, that it was clear and safe to do so, it went. Uh, so for some reason, it, it stopped there. Okay, that see, that car cut the corner. Makes you a little bit nervous. It was fine. Oh, man. I'm eyes outside most of the time, you know, clearing and making sure it's safe. But then I look down at this, and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. It's, I mean, it's jumbled, right? Like, there's a lot of noise in the, in the image, right? Um... I'm not sure, you know, I mean, it, it's a very noisy image. It's kind of dark. I can imagine, you know, you know, noise in the CCD sensor and that type of thing. Maybe kind of not helping. Okay, this is great. Great. Okay, fast. Okay, weird. But okay, here we are. <laughs> uh, right through a small pothole. I don't worry too much about that. Okay. Once again, that was successful. It wasn't quite... You know, I mean, if you're if you're riding with a friend and they drive like that, you're probably gonna uh, think a little bit differently about them after that experience. <laughs> but it, it did it successfully and safely. So this should be pretty simple. Uh, Home Depot's gonna be a right turn off of this road. Uh, there, I think there are two or three stoplights between here and there, maybe four, uh, but they're gonna be straight through on green. I'd like to see. I don't think I've been uh, number one holding short of a red light yet. Uh, I'm used to regular autopilot with stoplight control where you have to confirm with the stock in order to proceed through a, uh, a green light. It's like right now, this is like old autopilot from, you know, I call it, oh, hey, here's perfect. Okay, great. I love seeing yellow lights. That's per, I mean, that was pretty cut and dry. You know, you have to stop, but it's, I mean, great. Okay, so this is my first time. Like I was just saying, I haven't seen uh, being number one holding short at a, uh, a red light. So we'll see kind of what reaction time it has. I'll give a little, okay, M wonderful. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, this is magic. Um, absolute magic. Yeah, okay, speed limit's 40. Let's see if it sees the sign. It sees the sign. It bumps to 40, love it. Okay, we have a flashing yellow here, which is simply to draw your eyes to the fact that there's a blind stoplight. I've gone through this numerous times on regular autopilot. It typically picks up those uh, lights. You can see the green light already. You can see the green kind of, the halos of green through the trees. As a human, you know, hey, there's a green light through this occlusion of trees. It sees it already. We're going through like magic. It's very dark. I mean, I can, I know, see, oh, I love this. As a human with prior knowledge of the intersection, I know it basically goes straight with a little curve to the right. So you kind of have to take a blind leap of faith, sort of, and, and drive towards where you know. And as you proceed, you know, the lane lines come into view and it's no big deal. Well, the car did exactly that. Like, it wasn't exactly clear just looking like, hey, we're, okay, we're taking a lane change. It still vibrates the steering wheel for a lane change, although it doesn't require confirmation. Uh, with old autopilot, it'll do lane changes automatically on the highway and it vibrates the wheel but it won't actually change until you kind of like give it a little bit of wiggle on the steering wheel so that it knows you're right there. 
Um, but here it wiggled, but it went without any kind of confirmation from me. Uh, the, the jiggle, the uh, vibration on the steering wheel is really just solely for, uh, I think, SA. Okay, so there's an emergency vehicle up here. Being very cautious. There's yeah, some people up there. Uh, I'm not looking at this screen at all, really. I'm eyes outside. But every time I glance down, I'm just like in awe of what this car is seeing. Uh, although I'm, I'm basically a, a unpaid safety observer right now, which I am more than ecstatic to do. <laughs> I mean, this is like a dream job for me. I mean, if I can make even a meager living doing this full time, with more responsibility than just driving, I mean, I would, I would do it. This is outstanding. Okay, so through the stoplights. We're paralleling this car beside us. It's slowing down a little bit when it probably didn't need to. Green light. We're going to have to get over to the right here to make our right turn in 0.5 miles. So the turn signal's on. It's going to get clear here right about the intersection, which I don't think you're really supposed to change lanes in an intersection. It thought about it. Okay, we're through the intersection. It's clear to go. It vibrated, and then it kind of bailed. But here we go. Okay, there was a car kind of coming up behind us. It was a safe interval to work. Nice. Okay. That worked, that worked. Yeah, once again, every time I glance down at the screen and see what's going on, it's just, oh. I'm only glancing down about for a split second every minute or so because I'm just focused outside uh, to be a safety observer. I don't think we've disconnected, have we? Not that I remember. Uh, we made that left that was kind of a little bit fast. I talked about, you know, if your friend drove that way, you kind of think differently, but uh, no, I haven't disconnected. Here's our right turn, this is Home Depot. Um, there's some people there, not a factor. Beautiful turn. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so we slowed down. That was weird and unnecessary. Okay, so there's a line of cars here. What are they doing? They're going to Culver's. Okay, so we're going to go around these guys because they're in line for the, the restaurant. Okay, okay, okay. This is amazing. Okay. They have a stop sign to the left. To the right does not. So there's... Autopilot pause, waiting for turn for cross traffic. That's natural, right? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Now where? Okay, this is not the way I would go. But we're doing it, right? I would have taken, okay, there's a person up there. Let's slow this thing down. We don't need to go 25. We don't need to go, we can go 13. Okay, so, you know, I pay attention to how I drive. I typically drive through parking lots at about 12 to 13 miles per hour. Here's kind of a curb that's really hard to see. I mean, it's easier to see now. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, it's jerky. It's a little bit jerky right now. Uh, we don't want to. We want to go left. Go left. Go left. Okay. Okay. Great. Oh my gosh. Look at this. We are at Home Depot. We are front door Home Depot. I. What did I do? I said navigate to Home Depot. We select our destination. We turn on full self driving. Uh, I mean, did I reset this thing? I don't know, but it was seven minutes ago. Uh, complete. Magic. Magic.